So I'm Melissa. Um, I'm the buying manager of a growing small startup DGC brand called Seep. Um, and we basically bring you sustainable plastic free household essentials. So basically the aisle that's not very sexy, the sponges and the cloths and the bin liners, that's what we're trying to make really nice and cool and fresh and plastic free. So I live with my boyfriend Andy. Um, we moved, we bought this house and moved in in February um, and we live in Walthamstow, so North East London. Um, made famous actually by the boy band East 17 who named it they named their band by their hometown. Um, that's just a bit of trivia there for you. Um, <laughs> well, typically I like I'm drawn to dark and moody colours. Um, but for the bedrooms I kind of wanted them to be a bit more feminine and obviously complement each other. So well, luckily Andy and I have really similar tastes so we knew that we needed something dark and rich in the living room um, that would complement our furniture. So we chose 2am um, and yeah the great thing about the peel and stick swatches I suppose is that you can put them around the room and you can check all the different lights and obviously this is such a massive room so that was so yeah it's just really really like innovative way of doing it. Um, and then for this for the hallway I originally wanted just to go all black um, and Andy said, why don't we just kind of make a focal point of the staircase and paint it all black and that will, which is just a bit more, I suppose, you know, considered rather than just going the whole hog black. Um, so yeah, the staircase is actually like one of my favourite parts of the house now. Um, that's painted in record store. And then we've done the woodwork in the hall and the landing so it kind of flows up. And then when you get to the second bedroom, we chose, yeah, we wanted, obviously we I do, I'm always drawn to the dark colours, but we wanted them to be more light and fresh. So we went for homegrown with the spare bedroom and then Chow Sophia with the main bedroom. They complemented each other. They were like quite pastel, kind of pink and green tones. They work really well together when you walk through them. Yeah, we picked up this like beautiful love seat from Swoon. So love that colour against the blue wall. I think that looks really, really good. And obviously, like I said, with the repeating colour, got like the gold and the gold cushion and the gold rug over there. So it's just, yeah, you'll see as you're going along, like repeating the colour and the colours that you're drawn to, just like, maximise on those. And there's a print over there from one of my friends. In lockdown, he started creating like really beautiful print, like poured paint and was like playing with different um, textures in the paint and took photos of it so that's called Swirl Studios and yeah I just pick up bits and bobs as I go along like obviously got a punch on for candles and yeah lots of things to warm up the room like can um, candles, cushions, throws you can yeah there's so much so much homeware coming out into the space I guess people are spending more time at home and really giving that market more more love and attention.